What is up guys, here Reynolds, your boy Kagi, back at it again with a new video and today we're going to talk about how to make money on Axie Infinity by just playing. Now, like any other business in life, like any other business in life, you have to put an initial investment. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's school, whether it's a university, you have to pay for your education, whether it's putting a restaurant, you have to pay for the equipment, you have to pay for the rent. And Axie Infinity and play to earn games are no different. Now I'm going to explain all of that. And the sooner you come into terms with that, you will start earning money on anything in life. Now Axie Infinity is working really hard to find other options so that people that don't have a lot of money can come into the game and start earning. Now the best option right now is to buy the cheapest axes on the market and then start playing arena or adventure mode and i'm gonna explain right now now this lady right here asked me can you really earn money by just playing and i answer if you see the whole answer right here i answer exactly what i'm gonna tell you right here in the video a lot of people ask me this question so it is time to address it and one of the things i do in this channel is to be truthful and be honest to my viewers Okay, so I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to explain how to get started from point A to point B. So let's get right onto it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is download MetaMask. MetaMask is an Ethereum wallet in your browser. I already have it. You got to go to the Chrome Web Store, download it, and it should pop up right here. And you should be able to access your MetaMask right here. Now, when you create the MetaMask, make sure that the whole process it will tell you to save some some phrases some words those phrases you gotta save it with your life that's your password that's the only way you're gonna be able to recover your account if you ever lose your computer or your phone or whatever okay so you can go to another computer and recover your account your your actual wallet so you gotta save those phrases that they give you you gotta save it with your life you gotta put it in a hard drive put it in a in a, in a note hide it in a, inside a book somewhere okay the point is that you got to save it because your axes are going to live in that wallet they are nfts they're non-fungible tokens okay so when you buy axes they're going to live in that wallet and what you're going to do with this wallet is that you're going to connect it to your axie infinity account all right so the next thing you want to do is go to axieinfinity.com and then once you go to axieinfinity.com go to my axes and the first thing is going to pop up is login with MetaMask. You already have a MetaMask, but create an account as well. So go to sign up. Once you create your account, you're going to get a link on your email. Make sure you check the spam folder. Sometimes it goes there. So go to finish sign up. Once you log in, it's going to ask you to attach an Ethereum account and it's going to attach it to your MetaMask. So once you hit attach Ethereum account, your MetaMask should pop up and it's going to ask you if you want to do this. And then you click sign and then voila now you have your account connected to your wallet okay now next thing you want to do is go to axieinfinity.com again and click download community alpha i already have the community alpha so it's going to ask you to log in either with metamask or using your email on your phone is going to be a little bit different it's going to ask you to log in with your email because you can't really log in with your metamask so you want to log in with your email and then within your account within your account you're going to have this QR code right here. You on your phone you click uh, show QR code. You save that to your phone images and then once you have the Axie Infinity um, Alpha on your phone it's going to pull it up from your images that QR code. So that's the way to do it on the phone. That's the way you log into the game on the phone, okay? Before you get started you have to buy some axes okay i'm not gonna go into what are the best axes here i have some videos explaining what are axes how to breed axes and you get the whole scope of what is an axie and how complex axes are you can also join the discord there's a lot of people there that have a lot of knowledge basically you go to marketplace you hit lowest prices and then one thing you want to do in this side of the of the website is to put the breed count on zero it's better you have you know zero count axes i think it's better so you can actually later on um, breed axes and you know experiment a little bit with breeding axes so the first thing you want to do is buy some axes usually what you want to buy is axes that have a lot of attack more than 100 in attack you want to buy axes that have a lot of defense as well so you want a defensive axe you want an attacker Usually to start, you want two defense, defensive axes and one attacker. But, 
you know, like I said, there's people that can help you with that and they can explain better. Okay. So each axis is going to cost you around $20 each. You need three axes. So your initial investment is going to be around $60. Um, the reason uh, it's twenty dollars right now is because the the fees are high. Um, the people that are breeding axes are paying a lot of money to breed axes. Um, it costs way more than what they're selling it for. So for them to make their money back, they need to sell like five or six axes to make their money back on their initial investment when they breed them. Now I do have a tutorial on breeding and you can understand how breeding works. And once you understand how breeding works, you'll understand why the price of of twenty dollars as a minimum right now all right now that you have your axes and your account made now you gotta go to the launcher whether it's in your phone or whether it's in the computer you hit the play button you start the axie infinity app so the first thing you want to do when you log into the axie infinity app is go to your axes and make sure you hit the sync axie so that your wallet and your account can sync together sometimes you won't see your axes here and all you gotta do is hit sync I'll go to your teams go to new team create a new team and then you set up your team however you want now the f the formations have different purposes but for now don't worry about all that you'll figure that out later on there's two modes that you can earn right now which is adventure mode which is you versus monsters or pve basically and arena you versus other people i would recommend that you go to pve or adventure mode um, because arena is you against other people and other people might have better access than you and it's gonna, it can be tough for you to win against other people that have better access than you you're going to find people that don't have better access than you and you're going to beat them but the point is that it's better you get started with adventure mode and you get to understand the game so let's get right into adventure mode all right so let's get started i'm gonna go to one of these levels in adventure mode and see what's up see if we can earn some slp the max SLP you can earn in adventure mode per day is 100 SLP. The max you can earn per match is 20 SLP. But in arena mode, you can go all out. All day, you can earn all day. The max you earn in arena mode, I think, is 7 SLP. That's the max you earn. But it's unlimited. So as you guys can see, like I said before... Um, you want a tank in the front so he could take all the hits and then you want attackers in the back Not necessarily that's the best setup, but that is a, a pretty good setup to start. Okay, so an axie that has a lot of health and then Axes that have a lot of hitting power As you can see my Number one actually took all the hit right there, and these are still alive. And boom, I won the match. Now, the good thing about adventure mode versus arena mode is that you can actually level up your axes. So they become stronger even if you have axes that are low, you know, low damage or low health. As you level up, they go up in stats. In arena mode, that doesn't happen. In arena mode, it is what it is. So you fight with what you have against other people. So that's why arena mode is unlimited. You can earn unlimited, but it's based on how good your axes are. Now, in adventure mode, although you can level up your axes, you can only earn 100 SLP per day per account. Okay, so here we go. I earned two SLP. Now, each SLP is right now like four cents. It fluctuates depending on the demand. And now I'm going to teach you how to actually take it out and sell it on the market. Okay. Now, if we go to the main menu, you go to inventory, and you can see how much SLP you have. I have 364 SLP. That's around $15. 364 times 0 0.4, that's around $15 right now. I don't even play this game that much. Um, I have so many games that I play, and I do so many videos. My time is limited, so that's why I'm not making that much. But there's people that are grinding every single day, 10 hours a day, and they're actually making a living depending on where you live. If you live in a country where, you know, you can get by each day with $20, $30, I mean, you can actually make a living with Axie Infinity. Before I teach you how to cash it out, I want to let you know that right now the fees to take out the SLP into your, into your wallet are really, really high. 
And that is not because of Axie. That is because of the Ethereum network that is congested. So you want to wait until you have a lot of SLP so you can take it out. So it's worth it. If you have $10 worth, worth of SLP, right? And then the fees to take it out is $10, then it's not worth it, right? You want to have $100, $200 worth of SLP so you can take it out and $10, you know, it's worth it to take it out for $10. Hopefully, this is all going to get fixed in the near future because Axie Infinity is coming out with a side chain so that all these transactions are quicker and are fee-less. Or if they have fees, they're going to be really low. Now, what you want to do is go to your account on the website and then you hit right here, Sync Love Potion. I have 360 pending, okay? So that means that those 360 are on my account, but they're not on my wallet. So what you want to do is sync love potions, right? And then MetaMask is going to pop up right here. I thought it was $10. Look, for 360, which is $15, their, uh, MetaMask is charging me a gas fee of $3.44. That can fluctuate depending on how congested the Ethereum network is at the moment. But for now, it's $3.44. You hit confirm. This transaction is going to start going through and we're going to speed it up maybe a little bit. And I'm just going to do this for the purpose of the video. I'm actually losing money here, but it doesn't matter. It's for you guys. So now that the transaction went through, the SLP is going to populate right here. That means that is in your wallet. Also, if you want to make sure you have it in your wallet, what you want to do is go to MetaMask right here, go to assets, add token, and then go to coingecko.com. grab the contract right here this is the contract right here you copy click to copy go to your metamask add token custom token you paste the custom token and it tells me token has already been added that's because i already added the token but for you guys it's gonna add it and once you go back to your metamask it should be right here 360 360 slp if you want to sell it you want to go to uniswap.exchange go to version 2 right here connect it to your metamask you want to select token right here and also you want to paste the token address i already have it selected right here slp let me remove it just for the purpose of showing you guys it's going to populate you click add you hit it and then what you want to do is actually put the slp on this side and then do max and then swap it for ethereum now that transaction is gonna cost you something too you see how it's costing me five dollars i don't even have five dollars right now so i can make the transaction so that's why i'm telling you guys that you guys should accumulate accumulate a lot of slp before you do this transaction it is worth for you to accumulate before you actually exchange it but that is how you exchange your slp to ethereum and then your ethereum to dollars or whatever you're exchanging that's up to you i don't know how you guys do that um whether it's with uh with coinbase or any other app that you guys use anyways i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys got some value out of this video and if you guys did please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button and also i just want to let you guys know thank you for the 600 subscribers i appreciate it so much and i'll see you guys next video Peace.